everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about dealing with heartbreak. Dealing with heartbreak, y'all. Dealing with heartbreak. Dealing with heartbreak. Dealing with heartbreak. Dealing with heartbreak. Uh, I'm in the bathroom because I'm I was doing something and I'm just gonna record. Okay? Um dealing with heartbreak. It's not easy. It's not easy. I was with someone for five years. Five years. Five years. And that sixth year, he, uh, damn, am I tearing up? That sixth year was the last of it. You know, a lot of tragic things happened to me. And it's a lot of things that I need to t discuss with you guys about what I went through. Like, it's not, I'm just talking about, like, the reason why I got the scar on my face. The reason why, you know, it's a lot of things. Um, but, uh, dealing with heartbreak can be hard. It can be hard. It can be very, have you want to stay in bed and not do anything. Dealing with heartbreak is hard, but you got to be strong as a woman. To all my young ladies out there watching me, be strong. And to all my young men who have the love of their life just disappear. This goes for both, vice versa. You have to be strong. If you're not strong, then you don't hurt us. You don't hurt, and you don't be just waiting on that person, and then they start to call you crazy. Don't do that. You move on with your life. You find somebody for you. My first, my first love. I've heard about him and he's doing great and I'm happy for him. I'm really am I really am happy for him and he has a girlfriend and stuff like that. I I've heard about him. But before if I was to hear hear about him, I would have been devastated, crying. I've been living my life. <sighs> It's hard because sometimes I get my feelings to where I want to sit and let it all out. Like, because I'm a Scorpio. Scorpios are loyal. We love our partners and we want to stick with one par partner. Um, when we find that partner, we get loyal. Anything, anything, anything they need anything and yeah but heartbreak is nothing to play around with it can have you suicidal it can have you do many things and this is what we're trying to prevent so you being suicidal um Yeah, uh, um, I still get emotional, but mm, 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 mm. what else? Yes, heartbreak. Just move on, but it'll take time for your heart to heal. But move on. Cause there's always somebody for there's always somebody for you out there. Um 
Everybody have got somebody. If you don't believe me, God, God have somebody for you. I'm still single. And the person that took my virginity is, and for the person that took my virginity is happy and stuff like that, you know, all the time wasted, I would have been like upset kind of, but uh, I forgave him. I moved on. Like, I had to. Because if you don't, you only hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. And I didn't know how to feel because we were always on and off. But when it was official, when he put the towel on and said, I'm done. I was like, wow. We really ain't that cool no more. That was hurting me. That hurt me. First time ever. And don't go running to different dudes trying to fulfill your needs. That's how all the diseases spread. And you just look so stupid and dumb. Don't do that to yourself. Be an independent woman. Go look for a job that's going to keep you busy. How about that? You may find your man at that job. Go... Do something that's going to keep you occupied. That's what I did. <laughs> Had to. Because. And listen. If you don't, you only going to screw yourself over and you're going to be in that. I'm way stronger than I was before. Because right now, I'll be crying talking about it. I'm so happy for the individual around me who's happy in their relationship. I know I'm single. I know that my time will come. My time will come. My time will come and I'll be happy. I'll be happy. And when my time do come... Let don't be mad that I'm happy, and then the relationship. Um, when I, as I say, don't be mad. I'm talking about uh, certain people that don't want to see people others happy. <laughs> like I'm just saying, don't be mad. I don't think I have people like that around me. I don't have people like that around me. All my people is positive. So, uh. Yeah, but dealing with heartbreak, I dealt with that, and it's nothing to play around with. Just my my thing is just to keep yourself busy, like I did. Uh, don't try not to think about that person because it only messes you up mentally, and you don't want to be like that. You don't want to be. All angry and mad because something didn't work out. And God, sometimes God have another say so, another thing for you. You can't determine your life and put make things happen. Cause God may God can make things happen, but not you. You know what I'm saying? God can lead you to like no, I'm like. What I'm saying is, you can't just predict your life 
and say, this is going to be this. Because sometimes God will like, I don't want that. Per that person is toxic. I don't need that person. In your and that person might be unhappy. So, dealing with heartbreak. <clears throat> Just stay strong. Because if that person wins out their life, then, hey, there's another person that can open that other door for you. Open and make you happy. Make you smile. And do things that he couldn't do or she couldn't do. I'm happy that uh, I'm a changed person.